How old were you and how old was he? We met, he was 11 years my senior, so I was four, he was 15, and then we remain in contact with each other, especially in 80, 81. So, so I was 11, through, from 15 until in his early 20s. You were 20s. one of his special friends then, quote unquote. Yeah, with broken periods. We would be connected, then disconnect, and then we'd be connected, and when we were connected, he would, there were times he would sneak out and spend time, and uh, we'd be on the phone a lot, I'd go backstage before and after concerts and talk with him, and so. Even though he was 11 years older, did yeah. you, did, do you ever find anything strange about that? No. Never. And this is what some people are saying about this audio tape, because uh, I covered the Michael Jackson child molestation trial, and a lot of people would uh, sort of, they would actually read into something a very sinister motive when you could read a very innocent motive into it. And this audio tape shows that he is really concerned about kids. This is him uncensored. He's drugged out. He, he could say anything. If he had a dirty thought, he could have said it. Yeah. But his thoughts were pure. It was about helping kids, building a children's hospital, helping sick kids. So do you think he got a bum rap with the whole child molestation uh, accusation? Huge. I think it was huge. My first, obviously not there, and I, I understand human nature and that anyone, no matter how sweet and sincere they seem, could do the most heinous thing. But from my experiences with Michael as a kid, and maintaining my focus upon Michael, wanting to get reconnected with him just because I wanted to be a person who could love Michael for Michael and I knew he didn't have that. You hear it in his music, you see it in the choices he made that he didn't have to make, that he was in a position to do whatever he wanted to do artistically. And you're absolutely right, it's a great observation that even in an induced state, his heart for wanting to help children and wanting to see the world a better place was right there, even in that state. And Tom Mazzaro, his attorney who got him acquitted, said he was just totally misunderstood. Absolutely. And, and you, being 11 years his junior, would be one of those people, if he was a pervert, he could have come after you. And you say that that's absolutely never happened. Never happened. And there's those times where you can sense something, where you're not trying to cast aspersions, but you get the sense of something's off. Creepy, yeah. Yeah, even as a kid, you can, especially yeah, around an can. adult. Never. Always the purest of motivations and the sweetness of, you know, just hearing his hey yeah. that was just Aww. Michael. And we